July 27th Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 We have already seen that Paul urges us to speak to one another in psalms, hymns and spiritual songs as well as to instruct, admonish and warn one another. In this verse, he says that we are to teach and admonish one another through songs from the Spirit. How can we do that? We need an inner foundation as well as an outward expression. First, we need the message of Christ dwelling richly among us. The word translated message is actually logos, which means reasoning expressed by words. It is used especially of Christ, expressing the thoughts of the Father through the Spirit. We are meant to be a community which is inhabited by Logos, by the revelation of God in Jesus Christ, not in a superficial or shallow manner, but abundantly. The sense of this verse is that the message of Christ has settled among us, and that is the source of our teaching and admonishing one another with wisdom. It is not the responsibility of a few individuals, but of the whole body. Second, we are called to the outward expression of worship, singing to God with gratitude in our hearts. When we worship with the songs that the Spirit inspires, with hearts filled with gratitude for all that God has done for us, it is an instrument of teaching and admonishment to others. Our worship teaches the ignorant of God's greatness and admonishes those who are doubting God's goodness. The Psalms are full of this kind of worship, the community of God's people teaching and admonishing one another, even as they declare the praises of the Lord. For example, Psalm 118 verses 1 to 4. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, His love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. Finally, we teach and admonish with all wisdom. That is, biblical truth is applied to real life. We are immersed in the Word and overflowing with worship in order that together we may live lives that are characterized by God's wisdom. Today's prayer, Lord Jesus, may your word dwell abundantly in us and may we teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through our songs of gratitude.